Peace, gods and goddesses. Welcome back to another video. I pray you're well. And we're just going to get into a quick divine feminine reading. Um, it's raining right now and it sounds so beautiful. I actually was on my way to resting. Just was guided to do a quick message for the collective um, divine feminine and divine masculine mainly for divine feminine but the energy i pulled was balanced in divine feminine and divine masculine energy so for that we'll go ahead and pull both make sure you like up on the video by hitting that thumbs up subscribe if you have not already and let's get into it if you're interested in a personal reading as these are general messages um all that information is in the description box okay also if you haven't already joined the channel if you are looking for individual zodiac signs right now i'm only doing the signs that um you know it's your rising not your rising your solar return all right, and then of course Scorpio, but um, yeah, I haven't uploaded anything yet. You know, as I start seeing the members um, come on in, we'll we'll get those readings out. All right, but y'all gotta let me know. I gotta show up. I gotta come through. Now, if I'm guided to post on the members uh, board or the members channel i will okay and you guys will be okay let's get into the messages that was already two minutes of me talking so let's see what the message is holy divine spirit universe source messages for divine feminine divine masculine So, we got Adam here. So, Divine Masculine is here. We got Nagmi, Desire, and we have Fermentation. Wow, look at that imagery. Sheesh. Patience and Maturity with Dark Divine Father of Creation. We got Queen of Sheba, Secrets Revealed, and Shine, Mama Jumbo. Cybation, Purify, Cleanse, and Release. All right, let's get into it. I definitely do see, because we have the numbers 41 and 15 here, it's a balanced energy. However, I feel like the divine feminine is changing something up. There's a switch up. I'm hearing a switcheroo. I feel like the divine feminine definitely. Um, the divine feminine is doing something. Divine masculine is too. But... <clears throat> We got desire, secrets revealed, and shine. The divine feminine energy is definitely giving me abundance. It's giving me whole. It's giving me um, ready. Something about restora restoration and reset. Okay. Let me let me just see something real quick.
because it looks to me like divine masculine you you may be in a an energy of um subtlety or contentment you're happy you feel as though you can rest you're resting you feel free there's an energy of sovereignty around you and then there's an energy of abundance around the divine feminine I just heard you won't be feeding yourself grapes that much longer, okay? There's a divine masculine or divine feminine coming towards you to assist you. This is something that some of you may desire. Some of you guys definitely have been hiding your abundance. I feel like Source is saying it's ready. It's time for you to shine. Whoever I'm connecting with, it's time for you to shine. You're ready to shine. Okay, that's what I keep hearing. It's time for you to shine. You're ready to shine. Whatever that may mean for you. Okay, I'm picking up the star card. All right, so being seen. Because you've healed, you're showing up very authentic. What is this, Adam? Dark Divine Father of Creation. Ace of Wands. Okay enthusiasm inspired action opportunities to manifest and move towards building and planting solid roots yeah that's what divine masculine is doing you're planning okay so we have a master builder here there's also someone who's um you're the uh, patriarch of the family you're, you've been left to continue grounding and planting roots. Some of you guys could be seeking your, your goddess, your counterpart, eight of wands, and the high priestess. Or the empress, I'm sorry, the empress. So there's someone, Divine Masculine, I see you revealing your secrets to. You trust somebody here. Mm -hmm. Six of Swords. Some, someone here makes it easy for you to be vulnerable, to be safe and comfortable within your emotions here. Could be a Piscean. I also see Divine Masculine here building. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> I'm just looking at this imagery again. Excuse me. Looks like a building for someone specific, though. Or someone is manifesting you, Divine Masculine. You could be a Pisces. Patience and maturity. Okay. I feel like someone has been having patience with a divine masculine maturity. What is this fermentation? Five of swords in reverse. Uh huh. So divine feminine, you may have been um, assisting or being patient as it pertains to a divine masculine's maturity, mental and emotional growth or intelligence here. Someone moving out of their spiteful or childish ways. Uh-huh. The Ace of Swords. So you both have aces in your energy. Divine Feminine, you have the Ace of Swords. Divine Masculine, you have the Ace of Wands. So this could be an air sign and fire sign connection. Doesn't have to be. You can have any of these signs in your chart. Okay, but the Sword of Truth is out. Okay. So your ability to tell the truth to a divine masculine changes them. They change their ways. Yeah, you got the six of pentacles. So balanced energy, give and take, duality. No one's getting the short end of the stick here. It's balanced. It's even. Okay, so the energy of feeling like you're doing more work or the other person is doing more, that's gone. That's over. Somebody is realizing their childish ways. 
Yeah, we got the Hermit here, Virgo energy. The Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Okay, what is this desire here? Eight of Swords. So someone desires to be unstuck or unchained or to have um, control over their thoughts. Someone's over the the idea of having racing thoughts or not being able to control their thoughts. Someone's ready to come out of that. Mm -hmm. Someone someone is realizing that they make more rational decisions when they have mind control over themselves, not over anyone else, over themselves. Someone's actively working towards their mental health. This is a desire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got the world. Mm -hmm. Or the will of fortune, I'm sorry. Let me double check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a that was the wrong um that was the wrong um book. The will, mm -hmm. the will of fortune. Represents illumination, the power of seeing things that others do not perceive. Mm -hmm. Fortune is destiny and success. Fortunate, destiny, and success. So someone knows that they are destined to be rational. They Because someone here, and I'm picking up on a divine masculine energy, needs their mind to be this master builder that they're being called to be, okay? Someone is responsible for an empress, And I definitely do pick up the energy. Whoever this empress is, they're very well capable of doing for themselves. Um, and this divine masculine knows this. However, that's more of the reason why they are ready to step up to the plate and make the necessary changes that needs to be made to be the person they need to be, to be in this connection or to be a to be able to show up in this connection, to not lose this connection. I'm getting life path number six here twice. And we have eight and we have one. Literally, the synchronicity is crazy right now. We have eight, six, one, six, one, eight. That could be a zip code. Or an area code, 861 or 618. I also do see here someone is changing. A pregnancy is causing someone to um, redirect their life. What is Secrets Revealed? There could be a pregnancy being revealed. You got the Nine of Pentacles. Someone secretly going into union. What it looks like here is someone, uh, divine feminine, you could be connecting with the divine masculine in secrecy, but you're still portraying to be single. It does look like there is a union here that's being cultivated very strategically. I feel like the feminine wants the connection to be solid before it's broadcast or broadcasted. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Somebody is definitely getting some visitors. Or getting a visitor. Okay, let me say it like that. Because this is an empress here. Um, 
this energy is only exclusive to one person, okay? But I do pick up some jealous energy around you with the Five of Swords. It's in reverse, but the Five of Swords is still here nonetheless. It's something about energy around you wanting the same type of man or woman and you actually have that. Is there some sort of guilt around having that? That's what I'm getting. I'm seeing here someone getting amazing intimacy in every aspect, in every way that you can think about the word intimacy. A great companion. Someone that they can confide in, talk to, depend on. Someone who's reliable, okay? Maybe someone... I really do see that Divine Feminine, you may be witnessing a total rebirth in someone at this time. And it may be hard for others to believe that this person is, is changing or they have changed but you're witnessing it firsthand. And there's an energy around not wanting to say anything about this prematurely. You actually want to enjoy this. You're basking in this energy. You're basking in, a, in the energy of your masculine changing or divine masculine. You could be dealing with um, a feminine energy that's doing this. This is such a beautiful energy. Okay, someone is set up. Someone is comfortable, abundant, not going anywhere. Okay, here to stay. The number 36 is here. You could be 36, 41, 32. Some of you may have an eight, an eight year old or a 15 year old. Or shit, even a 32 or 36 year old. Some of you may be a little um, older that watch my channel. So, yeah, I see somebody that pulls up. Very impressive. Like, some someone impresses you now. Someone is unrecognizable. What is this, shine? Yeah, somebody's shining. Somebody's looking good, good. The fool, somebody went on a fool's journey and came back a whole new person. The fool card, this is somebody who is appreciating life for everything that it is, for everything that it isn't. Okay, this is someone who lives in the moment, who is carefree. This is also somebody who I'm, I'm seeing here doesn't need to do much or doesn't attempt to do much to get attention. They just shine effortlessly. And Aquarius, you got the two of swords. Someone is giving advice or getting advice here. Someone, someone needs to make a decision about... Whoa. A queen of uh, pentacles and the six of cups. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Feminine energy you could be. Or divine masculine, you may be connecting with an earth sign. Feminine. What is this two of swords? Two of Wands. So 22. You could be a life path number 22. Master number. Ooh. Somebody's planning for the future here. Queen of Swords. I just never hit the road, Jack. 
and don't you come back no more. Okay, let's get some advice here for the collective source. Okay, what, what, what advice do you have for whomever I'm connecting with in this energy? All right. A lot of you guys are definitely on your desired path, your desired purpose. I do feel like I feel like the the question is how to continue moving forward in this energy. Okay, what is the advice around um, naysayers or speaking on this situation prematurely? Okay, is this the right thing to do? Keeping this this secret or revealing it? Ooh. The moon source is saying, yeah, yeah mm, definitely keep it a secret for now. Because there's some, there is some trickery around Page of Pentacles, Six of. Okay, well, what is the moon? Five of Wands, yep, there's that, that that competition. So yeah, keep this a secret for now. There's there's a lot of drama around your love life or around your connection or around the way you move. There's competition, there's jealousy, there's conflict, there's anguish, and there's trickery. You know, Divine Feminine, you know as soon as you say something, <laughs> yeah. You know, as soon as you say something, it's going to be drama. It's going to be, it's like you're going to be taking on everyone else's bullshit. You're going to have to hear what they have to say. It's, it's giving nagging. I don't got no man, girl. Where do you find him? Okay, it's just the energy around you. It's giving bird talk. It's giving chirp, chirp. Some of y'all know what I'm going to say, but... That means it's time to gradually move away from these energies, period. They're in secret competition with you. This, this is this is the type of energy where they will just hate your person for no reason because you're happy and you're well taken care of and provided for. You got the Empress. You got Adam, dark divine father of creation. With Queen of Sheba here, it's giving you don't have to lift a finger. What else? This is going to really be a secret because some of you guys really have not said a word about this. You still act as though you're single. Nine of Cups. You're glowing though. I feel like someone around you may know something because you're always happy. Yeah, I'm hearing somebody say, you're, you're glowing. Or if you're a divine masculine, I see that, you know, you may just have a different aura about yourself. Now the five of swords is in the upright. It's the hate around your happiness for me. Five of swords, nine of cups. Five, five here. Defeat. Someone feels as though they lost. And this is a... Uh, what you would call a friend or an associate or someone who is very close around you. They feel like they lost or they will once you reveal the secret of you being in a union. Nine of, I'm sorry, um, page of wands. Yeah, you're very excited, but I see someone literally popping your bubble. Especially if this is someone you've connected with previously. 
if you're revealing that you're back in connection with someone, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords with the Hangman. It's like individuals saying, well, are you sure they changed? You know what they did. You know you don't trust them. When you've both been already doing the work secretly to gain a solid foundation because you know what you're up against. Okay, it's something about you can't choose your family. Like, you didn't come to this earthly realm being able to choose your family. Some may see it that way. Some may see it as you you do choose the mother or father. Your mother or father and that bloodline. What I'm picking up is either you, Divine Feminine, or your Divine Masculine. Or Divine Masculine, you or your Divine Feminine. One of you guys appreciate family. Family is important, period. You don't you don't care the fact that you may have fucked up family members or fucked up siblings or you know the relationship with your mother or father is estranged they still mean a lot to you you still love them and care about them and will do anything for them now you created healthy boundaries though with them but there's energy around you only get one mother or one father here and you appreciate family again, period. Okay, I'm picking up it takes a village, especially if someone's pregnant. You like somebody's having the conversation of like, okay, this is our family. Okay, maybe the both of you may have what one may think of as a fucked up ass family. Yeah, you got the Queen of Wands in reverse. So this could be an emotionally unavailable mother or a mother who was in and out not really um not really attentive or um available for their child someone okay so i'm picking up on a masculine who witnessed their mother being very promiscuous at a young age okay and you you may have led that type of lifestyle. That's what I was picking up on earlier. Divine Feminine, you got this masculine to change their ways. Because they were only doing and being what they were raised and taught to do. What they seen growing up. But this masculine has changed. They've learned or they're learning that their past is not who they are. And just because they seen um, their mother do something or live a certain way doesn't make it right. Period. Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So there's someone who is nurturing, who is equipped... Who is he? Who is a beautiful mother? So this, you both can come from two different, you know, backgrounds, of course. Three of Pentacles, yeah. Collaboration, working together. This is a desire of you and your persons. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. I'm hearing if I can have patience for you, I can have patience for my mother or my father or my sibling or something like of that nature. Yeah, six of wands. All right. I'm sort of saying moving in that energy, moving with love, integrity, but at the same time, um, boundaries and standards will get you a successful outcome. I do see you guys traveling to visit family. Okay. There, there may be some news revealed or something like that. I feel like they're going to be happy, but there will be stipulations. I'm hearing, especially if there's a child here. Yeah, another difficult decision. We had the two of swords here twice. So you and your person are making a difficult decision to 
go into an environment that may not be the healthiest or the most positive but this is this is what you know this is what you know you grew up around okay one or the other all right and whoever had the more i would say well balanced lifestyle yeah there's a star you were the one to assist this divine masculine divine feminine you know take it how it resonates you were the one to assist them in their healing with the star aquarius energy very strongly um and you're advising your partner like look i love you and in me loving you i love your family and if you want to reconnect and attempt to make amends and make it right with your family for the sake of our child or our children or our bloodline or whatever the case may be, I'm with it. Okay? I feel like you guys are ready. It's like you're going into a situation as um, a team. Okay? Like, I got your back, you got mine. Ace of Cups. Yeah. I do feel like, again, this is going to be a big reveal because who's, who, whoever is going, whichever family members you guys are going to visit, they're expecting you or someone to bring someone new. Surprise. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Surprise. King of Wands in the upright. So source is saying, take inspired action, move towards this, reveal this secret when it feels right, when it feels right to you. It doesn't mean when they're ready, because ready or not, here y'all come, because because this is what the both of you are deciding to do. It's necessary, okay, for this relation to keep moving, and for this relationship to keep thriving, that's what you... You all are agreeing to do. I like it. I love it, actually. I love it. Anything else? For Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Adventure, travel, vacation, new experiences. So you guys are, you know, embarking on a new adventure together. This is a new experience for the both of you. Maybe you guys could be traveling for the first time together a vacation here you got seed fertility growth manifestation and protection yeah some of you guys could definitely be pregnant okay I'm, I'm i am picking up on first time mother and father for some of you for some of you this someone's a first time parent either way it goes but this is also giving me that energy i picked up on for divine masculine in the beginning of the reading mm-hmm planting seeds okay harvesting watching them grow manifesting and protecting what you're manifesting you have trust surrender control here so i see you guys trusting one another yeah transparency seeing through another's false mask no one here has to wear a mask anymore the trust is is, is at an all-time high is beautiful no one feels the need to control the other you're both free yeah ebb and flow give and receive gracefully mm -hmm. legacy stepping into your purpose for the highest good of all period listen thank you source thank you source for backing me up ashe so i'm gonna leave it there make sure you guys hit that thumbs up Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and um, hit the bell so you're notified when I upload or go live. If you would like a personal session, you can email me or you can text me. All that information is below. If you want your individual Zodiac readings, y'all, you have to join, okay? Join, 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 join so I can start uploading for y'all and we can start cultivating our tribe and our vibe your vibe is your tribe that part all right i'm out y'all peace love you my son does his heart like this <laughs> it's so cute all right y'all peace